Well, hello friends, Tony Howard here with Astrology University, and I'd like to invite you to our next summit, Astrology and Relationships, Exploring Our Connections. You can watch the summit live uh, at no charge, actually on April 25th and 26th, 2020 through our website at astrologyuniversity.com forward slash summit. All you need to do to sign up is pop in your email. And to tell you a little bit more about uh, the summit, and I have one of our amazing speakers with us today, Alexander von Schlieffen, who's joining me from Berlin, Germany. And uh, he's uh, joining us for the summit for the first time. So I'm so excited to have you with us, Alexander. Thanks for being here. It's a big honor for me that I can participate. It's great. I'm looking forward to it. Beautiful. So you're going to be presenting a talk called The PR Society. Can you tell folks a little bit about what you're going to be sharing with them? Yes, I'm trying to look back at the past 38 Saturn Pluto cycle. It started in 1982. And I want to take a look at it from a, let's say, cultural and a bit philosophical perspective. And it's the power, it's about the power of the images, collective images, advertising images, which kind of incredible impact they have on our consciousness and on the way we want to see ourselves, the way we want to be. And due to the fact that from that time on, there was something like an economization of all areas of life, which is somehow new in the Western culture. It happened for the first time. So that when everything becomes part of the economy, people have to behave strategically. And that means it's all about selling something. Everything must be sold. Everything must be presented. And at that time, the content or the quality of the product was much less important than its ability to be promoted or to be um, represented in an advertising. And that's why I call it the PR, Public Relationships Society, the past 38 years, because it was a time where we had so many public relation um, offices and coaches and in how far this might change now in the new cycle. This is just like a short, brief overview. Awesome. So I'm going to look at the collective development as well as its impact on the individuals as well as the impact on society, on, on the image of women and many, many things. Awesome. Thanks, Alexander. And for folks who don't know your work, can you tell us a little bit about your background in astrology and, and your approach? Yes. My background in astrology has a lot to do with the other things that I do in life. I'm also a musician and a painter. I studied painting and I also do paintings. This is my studio. You can see my paintings in the background. Beautiful. And so there's a way to look at things, to see things simultaneously that has a strong impact on my approach to astrology. I have been lecturing astrology for many, many years in Europe, in South Africa, um, in Poland, you know, in many different places. Not in the US so far. This is my first participation, at least online. I have a practice with clients. Most of my readings, consultations are on the phone. I um, have an astropod, an podcast the weekly that started on January 12th the day of the Saturn Pluto cycle and um, I've written two books I have published I think 14 audiobooks I've been writing for magazines I had a TV show so I do a lot of things now and I do since 10 years astrological salons this is people invite people to their house, like a small group of people, let's say from 10 to 30 people. There's some food, there's always good wine. And we talk about astrology. And I've been doing this a lot in the past year. And I can see that at least here in Germany, the audience that is excited about astrology is incredibly growing. And it's like people from all walks of life. It's, there's a complete shift and especially the young people. Yeah. I have a, most of my clients now are, let's say between 28 and 43. In the past, it wasn't like that, you know? And that's really amazing. So I have a great time with astrology and that's why it's so great to share this with you. Definitely, yeah, it's the same thing is definitely happening here. And I don't know if you saw this article, but the New York Times did a piece a couple, uh, actually a couple of years ago that they showed that searches in astrology had doubled over a two year period. 
uh, online. So yeah, that's, it's definitely happening everywhere. And uh, it's, it's beautiful to see. Um, it's one of the reasons why we're able to do what we're doing. So, well, thanks so much for, for joining us. Do you call yourself a psychological astrologer or do you get into, do, do you associate yourself with, cert, with a certain style? I have been lecturing at the CPA, Liz Green CPA for 12 years. Right. So I was part of this group and I'm friends with most of them, of the astrologers who've been lecturing there. But I'm kind of a mix between artistic, philosophical, um, a bit psychological. It's kind of more a minestrone of styles. Yeah, <laughs> beautiful. Awesome. Well, if you'd like to catch Alexander's talk, he's going to be presenting uh, the second lecture for us on April 25th at 11 a.m. Pacific time. If you're not sure what time zone that is for you, there's a little link there for you on our homepage. So if you can just scroll down to the schedule, astrologyuniversity.com forward slash summit, scroll down and there will be a link right next to each speaker's talk so you can just confirm the time zone where you are. Again, the summit is free to watch live. All you have to do is sign up. And if you are watching this video after the summit, no worries. We have something called an all access pass that you can purchase to get the recordings. And if you'd like to own the recordings uh, beforehand, or you know you can't make the summit, uh, that option is there for you as well. So uh, your purchase of the summit helps support our mission to keep the summit free to watch live during this during the event. Uh, and also, of course, supports all of these amazing speakers and their life's work. So uh, thanks so much for joining us today, Alexander, and I can't wait to see your talk. Thank you. See you next week.